May is Military Appreciation Month, culminating with Memorial Day on Monday. As we salute those who serve, it's important to discuss the difficulties veterans face after they come home. Looking at some numbers here, one in three veterans suffer from some form of depression. Veterans are twice as likely as non-veterans to die from accidental opioid overdose. And 11 percent of homeless adults in the U.S. are veterans. Let's bring in Shiloh Harris, a wounded Iraq war veteran and an inspirational speaker. And we are absolutely honored to have you here with us on, especially on this Memorial Day uh, weekend here. Um, Shiloh, if you could, could you take us in the best way you can, take us inside the minds, the hearts and psyche of war veterans and help us understand the trials of transitioning back to civilian life? Uh, well. To be honest, I can only speak from my point of view. And uh, as I was uh, talking about earlier with uh, a few of your uh, affiliates here in Dallas, is uh, you know there's there's so many different dynamics with the VA and and how you get your ratings and whether you're medically retired from the military or whether you separate from the military and get a rating. And you know so I guess you could say I've just been very blessed in a sense. You know I know that may be hard to imagine with me wearing my scars on the outside. But, you know, I'm medically retired from the military, so I have a lot of care available to me, not just, you know, through the VA, but also on the uh, military side of it. Mm -hmm. Now, there's some veterans out there that struggle with very minimum uh, percentage ratages, uh, and, you know, they suffer with opioid addictions and all these different things. And so, you know, it's a very complicated system. But for me, to recommend to any veteran that might be watching and listening to this, you have to be the squeaky will. It's like I said, I've been blessed, but I've been told no. I've been told no probably more than once, and I, but I'm not afraid to go to the director. I'm not afraid to go to the town hall meeting and make a stance and say, listen, this has to change. This is what I believe. And I believe that every veteran should be able to do that with the VA. And something I commend the Trump administration on is their stance on making sure that veterans are getting care. Although it's still a system that's being changed, at least they're making changes and, and, and that, hopefully you know saving lives yeah and that's a great point you make that if the trump administration is very dedicated to helping uh veterans um have you had a chance to speak with president trump i'd imagine he'd like to hear from you and let you speak to some of his uh <laughs> um, his folks to try to straighten out the system and i know it's a very convoluted system but perhaps you can can help them well, I, I'm absolutely willing. As a matter of fact, you know, I've done a little bit of lobbying myself uh, back and forth to D.C. And, you know, anytime I, I get an audience, I tell them, you know, especially with the VA, with the veterans, you know, whoever's willing to listen. Uh, you know, that is definitely one of my uh, strong points is being able to talk about that, because if anybody's been through the medical system, it's me. I've had a lot of experience. And, uh, you know, but one thing that really does bother me right now is the opioid crisis. And I, I know that they are opening up the uh, holistic medicines or, and holistic uh, alternatives to pain relief and, and uh, that kind of lifestyle. For me, I can tell you, 80 surgeries later, three years of recovery, when I got introduced into chiropractic care through the Patriot Project, it changed my life. The quality of my life improved so much, I was able to get off all opioids. Right now, the only reason I'm on uh, any medication is because I have high blood pressure, because I'm from Texas, and we like Texas barbecue. At least that's what my wife says. Well, well, Texas barbecue, you can't turn that down. Come on now. I, I lived in many exactly. you several can't turn cities down in Texas. Texas barbecue. It's the best. <laughs> um, but you know, you raise some really, really crucial points here. You know, homelessness, opioid addiction, depression. It's far too great among uh, veterans. And you mentioned uh, your experience with going to a chiropractor, I think you said, and how you were able to get a more holistic uh, a regimen uh, that's more natural and less uh, dependent on prescribed medications. Um, if you were talking to some chiropractors who were watching or people who run some, some of those centers, you know, how could they let veterans know that they are welcome there to help get them on a more, again, holistic road to recovery? Oh, well, definitely if there's a chiropractor out there listening, which I'm sure there's many out there, uh, and there are many that have joined the Patriot Project to open their doors to veterans, Purple Heart recipients, uh, uh, Gold Star family members, and 
I mean, just they, they opened up the door to get the veterans in their, in, their, in their door, people that have sacrificed and given for this country our freedoms and our liberty. And if you have the opportunity, join the Patriot Project, find more, find out more how you can be a part of that. Uh, is there a uh, website, Health Source Shiloh? Chiropractic is a big one. Yes, it is uh, patriotproject.org. And then uh, there's another organization that I want to mention that is, I mean, just an amazing organization that I've been a part of for a few years now. It's called the Coalition of Sudamerica's Heroes. You know, because you mentioned something about the uh, homelessness. And, you know, there's so many things that face veterans. And PTSD is such a, a misunderstood creature still that we, I mean, they, we don't really know what goes on in, inside everybody's head that experiences PTSD. And there's different levels of, of struggles with this, you know, issue. And anybody that out there may be even thinking that they have PTSD, and I do mean anybody, not just veterans, but I recommend counseling. You start seeking help right now because PTSD is real. I have issues with PTSD. I got injured in 2007. It's like I said, 80 surgeries. You can imagine, there's days I have bad days, but I've been blessed and I go to counseling and I do what I'm supposed to do to take care of myself. So if you're a veteran and you're struggling, if you're anybody out there that's struggling with maybe PTSD, TBI or social issues, get some help. There's a lot of people out there that's willing to help. Uh, the coalition every year they have uh, coalition uh, of what? Like Tell a, me again, Shiloh. It's, cool. yeah, it's the coalition to salute America's heroes, and also, they are an also, amazing organization. And I also want to mention again, PatriotProject.org. Um, listen, you are incredible, uh, and we cannot thank you enough for your service, your sacrifice, and your spirit. And I want to thank you again, Staff Sergeant Shiloh Harris, for, for being here and getting out this very important message. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.